Hey there, today we're going to be doing a quick comparison review between the Yeti Rodi 24 and the Yeti Hopper Flip 12. Um, when I was researching coolers, I was having a hard time kind of figuring out which of these two coolers I really needed. So I bought both of them and now I can tell you which cooler is going to be best for your use case scenario. So let's just talk about two coolers real quick. Um, the Yeti Hopper Flip 12 is a soft side cooler, so it's not made of that hard rigid plastic like the Yeti Rodi 24 is. Um, that being said, it's a smaller cooler and it can squeeze into tighter spots. So like in my car, this can squeeze behind the driver's seat, even if I have the driver's seat all the way back, where this larger cooler, it just, it just simply can't. It's close, but since it's so rigid, it can't squeeze down and fit into those tight spaces. So that's one consideration. Are you gonna be putting these coolers into tight spaces? The Yeti Rodi 24 here is also a little bit too tall to put into trunks of smaller cars. If you have a truck or something like that, it's not gonna be a problem for you. But if you have a small economy sized car, this might be a little bit bigger than you think it is. And when you're looking at the pictures online, it's a little hard to tell. So as far as portability, the Yeti Hopper Flip 12 definitely wins the day. Um, as far as what they can hold, you can get about 12 cans into the Yeti Hopper Flip 12, and you get about 24 cans into the Rodi 24. Now the Rodi 24, Yeti will tell you it can hold 18 cans, but that's if you put um, two to one ratio of uh, cans of uh, you know whatever your favorite beverage is and ice, and that's uh, going to keep things cold for you know up to 48 hours. Where if you just need 24 hours, realistically you can get 24 cans in here. So um, obviously the Rodi 24 holds a lot more than the Hopper Flip 12. But do you really need that much? If you're just, uh, you know, two people going out for a day on the beach or a road trip, something like that, this Hopper Flip 12 is a really nice size. Um, just kind of a couple of other features is the Hopper Flip 12 has handles just all over it. There's one on the top, there's one on each side, there's uh, one in the back, and it's just, uh, you know, just got handles all over the thing, which I really like. It makes it easy to tie down to your kayak. Um, you also have a shoulder strap, which I don't have here, but these uh, loops on the side are uh, great for tying down onto a kayak, something like that. The Rodi 24 isn't quite as convenient. It only has one handle, and it's kind of the bucket style handle that they have on their, uh, you know, Yeti buckets. It does have a comfortable plastic sleeve around the uh, nylon strap. And then the nylon straps are on pivots, which is nice. And then the center of the pivots, you do have a slot so you can run straps through here to tie the thing down. But you just don't have the options um, like, the, like the Yeti Hopper Flip 12. Um, the Yeti Hopper Flip 12 just has so many more grab options and tie down options with uh, all the loops and handles and stuff on it. The Yeti Hopper Flip 12 also has this looping in the front for attaching carabiners, bottle openers, things like that. The Rodi 24 is just basically smooth all over. There's not a lot of options for attaching accessories. So as far as um, you know, accessories and ease of use and stuff, I think honestly the Hopper Flip 12 is a pretty um, compelling win here. Both coolers have uh, an anti-slip surface on the bottom. On the Hopper Flip 12, it's the entire bottom, kind of has this uh, rubberized coating. It works pretty good. Where the Rodi 24, it just has four uh, rubberized feet, which um, also works very well. Um, so they both have anti-slip options on the bottom, which is um, you know, definitely a must have. That's it for kind of the outside of the coolers. Let's compare the inside of the coolers and the functionality. The Hopper Flip 12 has a uh, zipper, which um, is a little bit stiff to open. It's um, a watertight zipper, which um, is pretty cool. You know, if you tip the cooler over or if you're on a kayak and you uh, get dunked in the water, your contents are gonna stay dry. So that is one nice thing about the Yeti Hopper Flip 12 is it has this really rugged zipper. It's a little bit stiff to pull around, but it makes the cooler completely waterproof, which is really nice. Once it's opened up, the interior is smooth, easy to clean, and you know holds your contents just like any other cooler. The Rodi 24 is definitely easier to open up. It's just got these simple buckles. They latch up super quick. To unlatch them, you just quickly lift and the lid comes right open. So um, I would have to say that, you know, kind of the closing up method, the Rodi 24 is the winner here. Um, one downside of the Yeti 24, it is not completely waterproof. It does have a nice rubber seal under the lid. So um, it keeps cold air in and everything as it should. But if you uh, have this cooler buckled up, and then you tip this cooler over in your boat or the back of your truck, something like that. Yeti says this cooler may leak some water. 
Now the buckles will stay closed. So uh, all your ice and food and stuff will stay in the cooler. So that's nice. It's a very secure um, you know, locking me mechanism, but it's not guaranteed to be waterproof. So you may have some leaks if you tip the cooler over. Not a deal breaker for me, but just something to be aware of. As far as icing options with these coolers, obviously you can use regular ice in both coolers. What I personally like to do is use the Yeti large ice blocks. And what's cool about Yeti is the Yeti ice works with all their coolers. So even though this is a relatively medium sized cooler, the Hopper Flip 12, the Yeti large ice fits perfectly in the bottom. So just because you're going with a little bit smaller cooler doesn't mean you can't use the largest ice blocks. So what I like to do with the Hopper Flip 12 is I just put one of the large Yeti ice blocks in the bottom and I put all my stuff on top and the cooler stays cold all day long, no problems. Now with the Rodi 24, it is a bigger cooler. So what I like to do with the Rodi 24 is I take the Yeti ice and just throw it in the bottom like so. And then if I have a bag of ice, I will throw some ice on top of that and then I'll put all my stuff in there. And for the most part, that will keep things cold all day long. If I want to keep this cooler cold for you know two or three days, I usually get two of the large Yeti ice blocks and then a full five pound bag of ice. And that usually does the trick. So the Rodi 24 definitely can hold more ice and that means it will last longer if you need it to. But if you're just going out for a picnic, a, a day on the boat, something like that, you can probably just get away with two of those large Yeti ice blocks and be just fine. So overall, that's kind of my quick and dirty overview of these two coolers. Um, they're both Yeti products, they're both top notch. Um, but I think the Yeti Hopper Flip 12 is a more portable cooler with a lot more options with the handles on the side, the handles on the top, the handles on the back, and then you just have, you know, attach points with the, um, you know, shoulder strap loops. You got the loops on the front, just a lot of options as far as tying this thing down, curing it, and uh, everything else. And I really like that the large Yeti ice fits into this Yeti Hopper Flip 12. It makes it feel like a proper cooler. You're not, uh, trying to use those small ice blocks intended for lunch boxes and stuff. You can put the big ice in here and it fits just fine. I really like the waterproof zipper. It's great for kayaking or you know other outdoorsy type uh, activities. The Yeti Rodi 24, this is in my opinion, more of like a tailgating cooler, uh, taking it on your boat. It's, it doesn't need to be as portable. You just kind of put it in the corner out of the way. And since it's so big, you can put a ton of ice in here, a ton of drinks and you're set all day long. So depending on what your use case scenario is, if you need the portability, the Yeti Hopper Flip 12 is definitely the way to go. If you're just going to a party, you need a bunch of drinks and maybe an extra chair, the Yeti Rodi 24 is gonna be your best bet. I hope you found this video review helpful. If you did, hit that like button below. It helps the channel a lot. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon so you're the first to be notified when I release new videos just like this one. Cheers.